Hello dear students welcome to our digital school Today also we have a new chapter in English so let's get started Our today's chapter is the dog's tail Let's understand the chapter This chapter is all about the farmer and the genie who wished to love him He thought that the genie will lessen his work and he can live a peaceful life but let us read this chapter and understand how pleasant was the life of this farmer there lived a farmer in a village he was very lazy he hated any kind of work he always wanted to sleep he would often say i wish i had a genie as a servant he could do all my work who is this genie genie is nothing but a magical spirit with strange powers One day a genie heard the farmer talk like this He appeared before the farmer the genie looked very big and strong He said to the farmer Master I'll do all your work I shall ask for no wages but there is one condition You must always give me work to do When you have no work to give me I'll kill you and eat your flesh This is a genie who is talking to this farmer. It says that genie heard whatever was the request of this poor little farmer. So he appeared and he said, "If you give me work, it is fine. If you don't give me work, I will kill you and I will eat your flesh." The farmer laughed loudly. How foolish this genie is! He said to himself, "He doesn't know how much work I'll give him." He'll get no time to rest or sleep. Then he said to the genie, "All right, you'll have, you'll always have work to do. Go to my field and dig a well for me. That is your first task." The genie went away to dig the well. So genie thought that I can give ample amount of work to this. The farmer thought that I can give lots of work to this genie and keep himself engaged. So the first work that he gave this genie was to dig a well. The farmer was very happy. He said to himself, "It is not easy to dig a well. It will take the genie many days. Till then I can rest and sleep." The farmer lay down on his bed and prepared to sleep, but as soon as he closed his eyes, the genie came back. He said, "Master, I dug the well. Give me another task." Now this was troubling. He was in a surprised mood. He said, "What digging a well should have taken many days, but this genie has completed." He was little angry also. He said, "Go away and build a house for me. It should have five stories. Then cook a big meal for all the villagers. Now go away and don't disturb my sleep." Master I'll do all that said the genie the genie went away and the farmer lay down to sleep first task was over now he gives him a second task he is asking him to build a big house that has five stories and he also want and he is also telling the genie to cook a big meal for all the villagers and he tells now don't disturb my sleep i really want to sleep very much and The poor master is going to sleep and genie gets back to his work. What happens next? The genie went away and the farmer lay down to sleep. It was not more than half an hour. When the genie came back, he woke the farmer and said, "Master, the house is built and the big meal is ready. What is my next task?" The farmer was filled with fear. Now he got afraid. "Oh my god, this genie is so fast in his work what work should i give him and if i don't give him work he will eat me he knew that the genie would kill him if he gave him no work luckily there lived a schoolmaster in that village he was a wise man the farmer went running to him he told the schoolmaster about his problem now there was a wise man he was a schoolmaster and the schoolmaster thought for some time Then he said, "I have a dog. Take it to the genie and ask him to straighten its tail." Straighten means to make something straight. Children, have you all seen a dog? Yes, 
Have you seen the dog's tail? It is always curled. Can you make this dog's tail straight? Let's ask this genie what he is doing. The genie was very happy to hear about this new task. What an easy task, he said to himself. Surely the farmer has no other task for me. I'll finish it in no time. Then I'll kill the farmer and eat his flesh. How tasty the flesh of my fat master would be. He was only thinking, thought this work I'll finish again within some time. And I am going to kill my master and I'm going to eat him up. The genie pulled the dog's tail straight. But it called again when he let it go. He pulled the tail again. With all his might, with all the strength he had, he tried. But again it curled. The genie tried hundreds of times. Every time the curl, the tail curled the same way. The genie began to sweat from head to foot. He was so tired that he couldn't try anymore. At last he left the dog and he ran away. Can you see the genie running? Oh, so poor genie, na. He never showed himself again in the village. Yes, it is not easy or it is an impossible task to straighten the dog's tail. Yes, so the genie couldn't complete his task and he ran away from the village. Yes, children, in this lesson we also learn a very good lesson. We should never be greedy, we should never be lazy. With whatever work we have, we should learn to do our work on our own. Otherwise, we will also fall into trouble. Children, I hope you have understood the chapter. Listen to it once again. Read the chapter. Stay home. Stay safe. Keep studying. And yes, meet you soon in the next video. Bye children.